Today's question is from Kara. She writes and says, Dear Katie, my close friends are infertile and preparing to take out a loan so they can pursue IVF. I want to be a supportive friend, but I've also heard IVF can be risky. What are your thoughts? Well, let's get real about this option. IVF exacts many costs. Number one, it's expensive. The average treatment is $15,000 to $18,000. Many couples go deep into debt for IVF. Number two, it's stressful on your marriage. Couples are three times more likely to divorce after a failed IVF treatment. Why is that? Because it instrumentalizes the couple. The man and woman are seen as extensions of the doctors, as genetic material to be used for the sole purpose of creating offspring. Many a frustrated woman has said she felt like a lab rat. Number three, it's risky to the mother. The procedure involves hyperstimulating her ovaries so that she will release up to 20 eggs at one time, which puts incredible stress on the body. Then the eggs have to be retrieved surgically, which puts her at risk for hyperovulation syndrome and laparoscopic scarring. Then if she does get pregnant, she's at increased risk for complications such as ectopic pregnancy to preeclampsia to increase incidence of hysterectomy at the time of delivery. Number four, IVF often destroys human embryos. It's common for doctors to have leftover embryos that are then discarded in the lab or for doctors to recommend selective abortions so that only the strongest and healthiest embryos in the womb survive. Countless other sibling embryos are frozen indefinitely. So the dark, dark paradox is that IVF often destroys human life in order to create human life. And after all of that emotional, physical, and ethical harm, it's often ineffective. To reach the industry average success rate of 42%, couples have to go through three rounds of IVF. So what alternative does she have? Well, believe it or not, there are doctors who refuse to make babies in Petri dishes and instead do everything that they can to heal the infertility so that couples can have a baby on their own. You see, infertility is often just a symptom of a deeper problem. There could be a block in the fallopian tube, a problem with ovulation, problems with sperm count, endometriosis, or any number of other underlying causes. These doctors go the extra mile to seek out the root problem and heal it. This alternative form of treatment is called natural procreative technologies, and it has a success rate of 38 to 81%, depending on the condition treated. It's often much less expensive than IVF, and it doesn't destroy human lives in the process. So why don't we hear more about it? Well, because it doesn't generate the big bucks for the fertility industry. Whereas IVF keeps the couple dependent on the industry, NAPRO technology doctors use technology to heal couples so they can be independent and have families on their own. Your friend may not know that there is a great alternative to IVF. Tell her about this option that won't compromise her body, her marriage, or her conscience.